Okay, here with Malik Thomas, uh, Penguins All-American camp. Uh, what are your initial impressions of the event so far today? Uh, just from the past, like I've always watched Penguins and I've always wanted to be a part of the event. So now that I'm here, and I actually missed last year, but now that I'm here this year, it's the competition level, the things that they're making you work on, it's just, it's different from a lot of camps. It's, it's very high level, the scouts and how they got everything set up, it's just somewhere you will want to be at. Yeah, for sure. You know, talk about your summer as well. What do you feel like you've been able to show college coaches and scouts? Just my development. Like, I've heard a lot of coaches tell me I'm filling into my game to, to what they expected to see me as and what I've expected to see myself as, just my passing ability, get more of a feel for that. Uh, slowing the game down, not playing so fast, being a better defender on and off the ball, talking, being a leader in gaps. So just the full package, I feel like I'm starting to slowly show coaches each and every day. Yeah, you know, last time we spoke was USA Basketball um, back in 2022, I believe. Yes, sir. And so obviously it's been a while, but uh, you touched on it there, but how has your game really uh, developed over the past year, year and a half? I say like, my game has developed into what I want to say is kind of to be unguardable on the court. Like I want to, I want to always get to my spots and, and have counters for everything. And if not, not play with it too much. I, Cause I, in the past, it's always been play, 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 get to your spot. But no, nah, like now it's a little bit more control, get there, then counter. So just slow down and just more professional. That's what I try to build my game into slowly, just professional and ahead of my class. Yeah, like what are you doing to get better at those things? It's just the work. It's kind of just the work every day. Like I go home and I got to be in the gym twice a day and I also try to fit in a lift into that. So it's just, it's a lot mental too, but deep threes, increasing my range, working with ball screens. If I don't have, if I'm not working with my trainer, then it's use a chair. Like you always got to improvise and do everything to touch the full part of the game. Work on the ball, come off, come off a screen, get your mid range, come off a screen, get your floater, high layups off the glass. It's just, if you touch on every part of everything in your game, you'll be comfortable doing everything in the game. So that's why many times people will say, oh, his game's crazy because I just yeah. work on a lot. Sure. Are you working with like any uh, college players or pro players as well? Like, uh, um, with them? Uh, it's, it's a lot with my brother. He's overseas in Ireland right now. So I take a lot of knowledge from him. He's been there already. And then I get like, my, I got a pretty good fan base. So like, I'll go out, I'll say what's up to Melo and, and he'll, Oh, you need to do this, sir. Like I'll say, what's up to KD? KD, follow him. Like, is it like I got it? Like I said, I got a good fan base, so I'll hear a lot of criticism from different players or players that have already made it or players that have seen some of my game that I need to work on. Yeah, like talking on that a little bit, like how beneficial is that to have that type of circle where you can go to you know Hall of Fame type of pros and get advice like that? No, it, it's amazing. Just because, especially the best of the best. Uh, just being com number one, just being comfortable to ask for advice and, and and just to talk about it, being being open to talk about what you need to work on is, is number one right there. Because if you're willing to get better at it, then sky's the limit. So, no, it's amazing just to be able to talk to these Hall of Famers on what I need to work on, and it helps me each and every day. For sure. Um, you know, how are you as a teammate? You know, I know you're pretty vocal out there, but yeah, for sure. Out. I say I'm a very good teammate. Uh, I'm, I'm, to me, I'm a great leader, and I've been, I've been uh, trained to be a better leader each and every time I step on the court. Because if you're bringing somebody along with you that may not be doing his best, or, or they're doing their best, just to keep pushing somebody and keep uplifting, and being the best teammate you could be is going to take somebody so far along with yourself. For sure, getting into your goals a little bit. You know, short term, what are some of your goals for this summer and for next year? Some of my short term goals, I say, I've been striving to win Peace Jam for however many years I played it, so right now that's a short-term goal for me. Uh, a short-term, another one is also just with my weight, just to keep a, a constant, a constant weight strong, never, never go down. Always just keep my weight high and, and bring it up, because at the next level, strength is big. Uh, and just being, just, just getting better each and every day. That's that's probably the biggest short-term goal, working every day and just getting better. Thanks for the time. I appreciate you.